Hello, my name is Garg82 and welcome back for Greg Tech New Horizon Season 2. I am just over in the Twilight Forest at the top of the Lich Tower. It's uh, right there on the, the map. I probably should have looked at that instead of looking at the one that uh, the Twilight Forest gave me. Uh, I know this is kind of cheating compared to what you're supposed to do with the, uh, the Twilight Forest, but I like the little map and uh running around and seeing uh all the different things but i just noticed this as i was looking at this there is that right there and i don't know if that was what was showing up as the lich tower on the map maybe not sure but uh yeah here is the lich tower and basically if you don't know you just have to go in the main one and uh the main kind of central thing and then just run up all the stairs it's really simple to get up here but uh yeah, so I'm at the Twilight Lich, and usually he throws stuff like that at you. And you have to, I believe you have to hit it back at him. And uh, damage his shield, I think, is the way it's supposed to go. Um, but I also crafted up a rapier, because I feel like I remember reading that the rapier actually just kind of goes through the... It breaks the boss, I think, because he has like an armor on it, and this is armor piercing. I don't know. We'll try it out. I have no idea if that's actually a thing, but uh, yeah, I had a couple potions on me, so I was like, let's just do that, and uh, yeah, so I think I just, yeah, oh god, oh god, no, no, <laughs> be right back. Okay, we are back and uh yeah after dying twice trying to break my gravestone for my stuff back uh, i went and grabbed crafted up a flint pickaxe so i could break the gravestone um so yeah don't forget to do that also there is an infernal mob over infernal book thing over that i don't know where it went also I can hear those spiders, which are really annoying. But, uh, all right, so we're back. And uh, the as we can see, the Twilight Lich is actually taking damage, so I could probably just hit him once with this, and we'll be good. Yep, <laughs> there we go. So, uh, as we can see, uh, Twilight Forest is kind of broken by Tinker stuff. Uh, obviously, if you want to that go in there where, I don't remember where those go oh my god those spiders where are they shut up they're like in the oh that's right I think I uh oh they're right there yeah they're like in there um actually a good place to level up my tools so I can get some redstone on them oh my goodness oh god we're gonna die infernal book okay maybe not uh i do need to speed this thing up because that is really slow holy cow um there is that that's what i was trying to do all right so like i said we are back we got the lich trophy um zombie scepter we probably don't need but uh yeah i'm gonna head back to the base i don't think I'm going to do any more Twilight Forest yet. Is it, do I? Yeah, I don't feel like, I don't feel like doing the maze yet. So even though my bow is pretty good, I do need to throw tons of, oh, hello. Wow, that's not as good as I thought it was. Last Stand Protection 4. Hmm. That's actually not too bad, although it has pretty low durability. Um, yeah, so we'll head back and, uh, I'll meet you there. Okay, we are back in the base and, uh, I've been completing some of my quests to, I just, one, I hate seeing the things there, and two, um, some of the loot bags have been giving me some decent stuff. Like, uh, I got some... 
I got two more HV circuits from an HV loot bag. I, I don't remember which one it was from. I think it was from... No. I did complete this one, though. I don't remember which one it was for, but it was one of these gave me uh, HP circuits. Also, I figure let's get some salt and some lava on our blast furnace. So I need to, oops, basically we're working towards uh, getting, I need nine nether stars. And I'm thinking... A splash potion of regeneration. I actually might need that. Um, I'm thinking um, in order to get that, uh, I don't think I'm going to kill nine wither skeletons. I don't know. We'll see uh, how long that takes. Um, if it takes too long, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to kill, like, because that's 27. That's like 27, um... What am I trying to say? Uh, 27 skulls. That could take like, forever. So I'm thinking we'll kill the one and then we'll just do the Salus Mundus route. Um, but in order to do the Salus Mundus, um, I think I'm going to actually... I know there's multiple ways to do this, but I may actually just go uh, getting the crystal shards. So basically we need to make balance shards. And then we pulverize them. If you don't know how it, you get Salus Mundus in this version. Um, and I think the easiest way is it's two of each aspect and then the one shard of whichever one is not the aspect in there. Now you can do multiple ways. You can feed it, you know, coal for... Uh, you can feed it coal for uh, Terra... Or Ignis, and then, you know, if Cobblestone will give you Terra and that. Um, I may end up actually just farming up a few stacks of these shards. And I'm going to actually use this uh, sifting machine to do that. Now, I need... I can't remember if I have a chest anywhere. We'll just make them... Yeah, uh, we're going to do this. There is a multi-block. I don't know if I really want to get into that because then I would need to, at, at the moment, I'm sure we'll get it at some point, but uh, I would have to build a alloy blast smelter and I really don't feel like doing that right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to use this uh, because as we know, these are rather slow recipes in the LU LV one. So the HV one is just going to make this so much faster. Um, but I do need that on top. Yeah, it already did one. So as we can see, much, much quicker. Um, just using that as an example. Um, but I'm going to go throw the miner in the Twilight Forest and... Probably mine out two veins, maybe do the third one manually. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to get a bunch of the shards. There's sh six shards, and they spawn in three veins. Um, I found two of them, I think. I can't remember, to be honest. Which I found the air. Maybe I, that was the only one I found. Um, because we needed air for something. We needed air for uh, a lens. That's what it was. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, also, with that, yeah. Um, I totally forgot that you can add modifiers in this version of Tinkers. So, I added the, the modifier that is the one diamond and... I forget what... One diamond and a block of gold. And then you can add one with the golden apple and a block of diamond we'll add another so that will give me that modifier um i have to look up I, I can't remember if it's what you put the lapis on for luck pretty sure it's that over the vanadium steel i just want to double check because i don't want to waste that 
that modifier before I do that. But that's another reason why I wanted to start sifting all this uh, lapis. Yeah, we've already gone through 13. So that is pretty cool. This has been sifting this stuff for <laughs> for like hours, I swear. I put two stacks of cinnabar in there. Yeah. So, all right. That's what I think I will do. So I guess let me go mine up a bunch of the crystals. Now we need, basically we need the null catalyst. And to get a null catalyst, we need another star, but we can use the null catalyst to, is that, is that right? Yeah. Do I need, hmm. Yeah, because you can. I may actually need two nether stars, actually, now that I'm looking at that. I'm just trying to figure out the easiest way to do it. So basically, use the one nether star to get the null catalyst. And then you can pulverize the nether star down into that and turn that into tiny dust. And then we use the tiny dust to. Not shaped yeah use the tiny dust to multiply that and then we use the null catalyst to get us that yeah so I basically need I need nine null catalyst and I think yeah I think we'll do it that way but I still do need to fight the wither twice I guess one for the null catalyst and one for Duplicating it. So it's either two withers, two withers or nine withers. But I'm thinking if I throw haste on there, that might help me farm up some of the wither skeleton heads. Although we could also get a cleaver. And a cleaver thing, yeah. Uh, it has beheading. I'm just not a huge fan of the cleaver, to be honest. All right, we'll be back. All right, I am back. I have gone ahead and got the last two mines that we need. Um, and I just mined, hand mined a few ores each so I could start purifying them and sending them through. It is a decent chance. Um, it does, like even those are low percent chances. Um, it does feel like I'm getting a, a decent amount of crystals from them um, but I needed one of each to progress a bit so I figured why not uh, do that as we are mining up the crystals uh, in the twilight forest so I needed yes the last one here for that and I'll just throw those in there in a second uh, but I needed to craft up this thermometer uh, because this will help us yes uh, progress into thumbcraft I need the thumbonomicon and uh, let's see oh this actually tells you <laughs> all right that's actually kind of cool to be honest because um I was actually going to look something up to see what I needed to scan because this is a big old pain. Um, the next part is the table, um, but I think we need to... Eh, actually, I don't know. Do I need... No. That's just that. Uh, do I have... All right, I have some of this. All right, I got to craft this up. Um, can I start scanning stuff, though? Oh, it looks like I can. Probably can't get that yet. Yeah. <laughs> to understand this, you need to study energy. That is the most annoying part of this. Although, could you always do the... I guess you could do the mouse over in the inventory. Unfortunately, I can't... 
I don't think I can do that and scan everything in the the chest. That is not in it. But uh, okay, why don't we just take a quick look and see? Does this in like order? Just curious if it is in order. Man, <laughs> so I just look at that. I'm like, oh, what an annoying recipe. <laughs> uh, be right back. Okay, I've gone ahead and crafted up. I just need, not that, that. Need two of these for some reason to get this quest. Um, also, sure. These common treasures are really annoying. But, uh, all right, so got the watering can. Uh, so let's see. All right, it does look like that may be the order that we need to do it in, which is actually pretty amazing. So thank you for whoever put that in. Don't send this, you need to study spirits. Like, ugh. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to spend some time scanning all this stuff that we need to to unlock everything. Now we do have this. I think I'm going to put it maybe... Do we want it over here? To get a sifter. Uh, we need to put the... Oh, that's, that's why we need to. You put that on there. And... Uh, oh, actually you don't. That just becomes that. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Oh, that's right. We need to uh, write to the paper uh, the stuff that we want to learn. Ah, oh my. Um, so there we go. I click on that. It gives us the research notes, and then I put it in there, and then I have to play this quote-unquote exciting minigame. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend doing the research. It is very, very time consuming to unlock the end game stuff uh just saying that right now um i may i may flip the config to just buying the stuff with the aspects i think i'm pretty sure that is a config um because i just don't have time real life time to spend dozens of hours like i did in the first season all that research over and over and over again. Uh, just thought I would point that out. But uh, all right, so that is that I need to, basically we're working towards this. So I need to do that. But before we can get going here, I need to unlock all the aspects. So like I said, I'm going to, I guess go down the thing, you have a trap, Door. Do I have a trapdoor? Do I have a trapdoor? Yep, gonna go through the thing and just scan everything I need, learn all the aspects, and we'll be back in a little while. Okay, we are back and did most of the list. Um, there is a couple things that I had to craft up that I hadn't gotten before like a clock and this bleach blown beached bone block which um all this stuff is relatively easy lead just some slime and string bucket of milk um got everything except what did i thorium dust we don't have yet uh i think it's on either the I think it's on the moon or Mars before we really kind of get into thorium and uranium and stuff. And the other one is crystal matrix ingot. But uh, everything else uh, we do have. And uh, going in order does get you everything. Um, I was trying to scan snow. For some reason it wasn't working. Snow and milk bucket. And I realized I had missed a glass block uh, scanning. So yeah, if you go in order... You should learn everything, but uh, yeah, thorium crystal matrix ingot. Those are uh, a little bit ways from now to get. All right, but uh, with that, um, 
Yep, we need to get a cauldron and a crucible. So easy enough. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm pretty sure you can do like a seven in an assembler, but I don't have an assemb I don't have one with a, a seven. I'm not gonna make a circuit with a seven. I'll just do it um, manually. Didn't I have a hammer on me? It might have broken. No. Where did it go? I think it broke the wrought iron one that I had. All right, so regular, regular cauldron, and then we just hit that with that. And there we go. There is that one. Sure, why not? Um, I need to empty this stuff out. My, I'm not, I was going to say my chests are getting really mixed up, but I, I'm not even going to say it because of course they are. They're terrible. Um, all right. And then night tour. Night tour is what I'm kind of working towards. So we need five night tour. Okay, good. Good to know. Um, also the, oh man, I need another one. I thought that was. I thought the work table was a crafting table. Is that really a... You need a table for that? Hold on. I thought it was a crafting table. Hmm, maybe not. All right. Well, I'll craft that up. I don't remember that being a table. Maybe I'm... I guess I could look in here really quick. Uh, artifice... Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it is a table. Hmm, interesting. All right, easy enough. Just some wood and uh, a thing. All right, there we go. There is our arcane crafting table, which needs a <laughs> and an axe. All right, so we're gonna throw this over here. And that. All right. So, uh, like I said, gone ahead and scanned everything. So I should be able to kind of go around and scan basically everything now at this point. Uh, we shouldn't be locked behind anything. Uh, but it is going to take me a while to do this because you can't do it all at once, which is really annoying. Um, a good thing to scan are the machines, because they have tons, as we can see. Do they not have instrumentum on there? Hmm. A lot of machina. Ma machina? Oh, there we go. Yeah, all that is instrumentum. Fabrico. Do HV ones don't have... Hmm, that's... HV machines don't have instrumentum on? That's a bit weird, right? Anyway, I'm not gonna keep doing this, but just kind of showing you all the crazy amounts of research you get from that. Um, so, back to the thing, in case you don't know by this point. Basically, just need to link these by connecting the aspects. Um, man, it's been a while since I have done this. I know Potentia is a good one. Um, and... Like that. Fire. Lux is made of... Man, I wish it would show what it is. Um, I know that's an upgrade. Uh, Lux is air and fire. Potentia is... I guess I didn't need to do that one there, but, uh... Yeah. Uh... Arcantio is... Oh man, I've forgotten since I've done this. Which one was Arcantio? Off the top of my head, not... I think Mashina has air. Modus is another good one. It has air in it. Um, these are all in the books, and once we get... A little bit more 
Aren't they in... Where's the aspects? Aspects. Yeah. Uh, once we get a little more advanced, we can see these on the tooltips. What was the one? Not in furnace. Yeah, modus. That's right. Potentia off that. That's what I... That's right. So we'll do... Sent you off that. That connects. And then, uh, I guess I could've... Now I need to connect those, and... I, uh, yeah, we'll do another Lux, I guess. But, uh, alright, there we go. So basically, you draw a line between them. Get the thing, and... Repeat. Over. And over. And over again. Until you want to pull your hair out. Uh, it's fine, like, the first time you do it, the 87th time, not so much. Um, and also there is, um, there is a, a better way to uh, unlock them, because uh, doing these, you actually get, oops, I didn't mean to do that, I just wasted a piece of paper and uh some ink. Um, these, for example, help you research better. Um, that is... I want to say that. Yep. And then... That is that. Now... I think modus is... Yeah, modus is ordo and air. This is also air. I can connect it like that. So now those are connected. Now I have to connect census. And I don't remember. Is that census? Sense. Sense us. That's the name of that. <laughs> uh, man, I can't wait to have the tooltips on them. Yeah, census. Air and spiritus. All right, census has air. And that has air too. All right, what did I do? Oh, I need to connect these two. Well, Ignis and Air is Lux. All right, so that'll now do something. Uh, whenever you remove an aspect, there is a 25% chance we get the uh, research point, and now we are able to see the aspects you need to combine. All right, so that's kind of what, there we go. Now we can see them, um, but I guess we'll do this one too. And as we can see, it's bigger, a little bit more involved. But once you start doing it, you kind of start remembering everything. Uh, what's that one have? Ordo. Uh, um, let me think. We could do multiple ways here. Mul modus right there, connect those, and then we could go down here. Well... I know modus goes on air. We'll go there, there, and there. All right. Well, anyway, that's probably going to be the last time we uh, we look at that. But there we go. There is fifty percent chance we get a we gain our research point, and there is a ten percent chance that'll cost nothing. And lastly, you're able to contain aspects by shift clicking. So I need more lights. Well, I have Ignis and Air. I can shift click on that and we can actually create Lux. But uh, I basically need to go through everything and scan every little thing we possibly can to get all the research uh, needed, which is going to take me a little while. And like I said, it is entirely boring and time consuming. But uh, all right. Anyway, that is that. So going to finish getting my all the crystals that we need i do have 63 earth shards already so that is cool i am washing a whole bunch of the lapis ore um i moved one of the machines over so i could throw a hopper underneath here um i probably will craft up a ore washer an hv1 i think to speed this up 
Um, they're relatively easy. The pump's a bit annoying, but uh, relatively easy to do that. Um, we are starting to replace our LV machines slowly but surely. We're replacing them with HV ones to uh, speed everything up. But uh, yeah, uh, gonna do that. Gonna continue throwing lapis on here, and uh, I think it needs to go fight some wither skeletons. So I will do that also uh, in between episodes. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.